Uh, so Tim, self-appointed uh, saviour of Bishop Stortford Football Club. Um, always going to be tough to beat Eastleigh today, especially after they beat Wimbledon mm. uh, last week. Uh, what do you say to the boys at half-time? We, well, the, the one thing we can't do is join in a battle with teams like that, because Eastleigh are very good at launching it, very good at playing in, in behind defences, and uh, what we said to our boys was that, unfortunately, their, their sort of game was winning, and their game is channel balls and getting players in dangerous positions. So we just we said we had to go back to our game plan, which is playing into forwards' feet, shortening our yeah. passes, playing into Danny's feet, get Lewis on the ball, and I think they did they, they did quite well. Yeah. They are they, they are a uh, big big strong set yeah. of lads, large boys, there, especially at the back, and they uh, they seem to win quite a lot first half. Yeah, they, uh, all the passes we played first half were were uh, lottery balls, you know. So yeah. it was their game. So we had to play constructive football, get it on the deck. And second half, we did see a bit of that coming through. Yeah, no, I think that was that was definitely seen, yeah. especially as Lewis wasn't given a great deal of a no. great deal of chances first off, but he no. showed what he's capable. Yeah, so, I, think, so I think second half, what he did well was Lewis dropped off a little bit yeah. into the, if you like, the Teddy Sheringham sort of role, and he was picking up lots and bits and pieces, and suddenly he was bringing their defence out, and they didn't want yeah. to come out, and then we were playing little passes through the gaps that were appearing. So second half was was excellent, and, and also three 0 down to show the character that they did, because at 3-0 yeah. it could have been 5-0, yeah. it could have been 6-0. We, we must have all been thinking that on the behind the goal and uh, in the stand and on the bench. We're all thinking, oh, this could be, you know, once you get a three, you're thinking, yeah. let's hope we can reduce it. But the character they then showed, I and mean, I think when we got that first goal, then the belief came back in and, yeah, I think they did quite well second half. Yeah, there's plenty of positives to be taken from it. Mm. Mm. Um, Narada, Bernard went off yep. early in the, yeah. in the first half. What's, what's the diagnosis? He got a uh, dead leg, and um, uh, he's had ice on it and that, but he's doubtful now for um, Tuesday against Bath. Right. Yeah. So I mean that upset us a little bit because we had to pull him off early on. I thought the referee was very. Um, I thought he was poor in the first 15 minutes because they had three challenges through the backs of our legs. Now, I thought the directive was to stop those sort of challenges with a yellow card. Three of them went through uh, our players, not, you know, no yellow card. So although we're not demanding yellows, we do want protection. Yeah. And I think that was, you know, you had um, Nuada go off, you had champs, you know, with uh, injuries and I thought the ref didn't clamp down quick enough. Is that something you've spoken to him about, or have yourself, <coughs> Mark, or Waste of time, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Not going to say anything? To the ref. Yeah. No, waste of time, because he's got his own agenda. But I think that's disappointing, because you need, you need to protect players, especially yeah. with that, that challenge. That you, it used to be traditional, didn't it, that you used to, the refs used to allow one or two of those sort of challenges. But I thought we got away from those days, so I think the ref should have been a bit stricter there. I uh, seen during the week it was uh, someone on the internet that looked good spirit-wise in the uh, in the team the crossbar challenge. Yep. Yeah. No. There's great there's great spirit in the changing room uh, all, all together. We, and we don't we don't normally knock. We don't try to knock. We try to encourage and we try to get the boys to be positive. And I think that you see the spirit coming through on the pitch. That could, as I say, that could have easily been five 0 at one stage. But the spirit and the, the character of the boys shown was, was excellent. And the training. As Ben saw on Thursday, there's great spirit there, the crossbar challenge is part of that. Yeah, so it's, it's important. It, it will bring us results and points. So we we very much believe in spirit, characters and togetherness. Yes, very important. With teams like Eastleigh and forthcoming opponents, um, Bath City on Tuesday, do you have them watched? Do you we, we don't at the moment, but we are going to next season. Right. Yeah, we've got someone. This season's been a bit of a <coughs> dash to the line to get everything in place, and gradually we're getting there. But we do want that to happen, um, and we're gonna. We've got someone in mind for next season who's gonna watch the games. But we know. Um, we do talk to some other coaches that we know in the league who give us a little bit of information about about teams. Okay. So we do get a little bit of uh, feedback from people. Uh, and on the player front, what's uh, going on there? What's going on with Dwayne Jackman at the moment? Dwayne's still, he's still got a uh, dodgy knee. Um, he's got a few problems that he's trying to sort out, I think, at home. So we, he's not around at the moment, but we're hoping that he'll be back shortly. Um, right. So he's got, he's got a few personal problems, I mean. So we're going to let him have a little bit of time and then hopefully he'll, he'll, he'll come back because we do need him, yeah. for sure. You know, we do miss that little bit of sharpness up front. So it'd be nice to see uh, Dwayne back again, for sure, yeah. Uh, and onwards to Tuesday night. Yep. Uh, we'll start. 
Well, we've got a few players missing because of the long journey. Some can't make it. So we've got Narada, of course, injured. I think uh, Champs is missing. Uh, Reese is missing. So, you know, it will be um, bringing the other boys in. But, you know, I thought Steph looked quite solid when he came on. He looked good at um, uh, Fisher. I thought Steph done well there. Uh, we've got Rich uh, to come in who did well at Fisher as well. So we've got some boys to come in. So it'll be all right. Uh, and finally, uh, did you win on the Nationals today? No, didn't bet. <laughs> no, don't believe in it. <laughs> uh, Tim Morlet, thank you very much. Oh, okay, for, uh, same, same time. Cheers. <laughs>